recently brought a solar powered pump. I've got a proper solar system. It's um, hard to see from here. But on the roof up there, there's a 140 watt solar panel. And that panel feeds down into a control box where you can see regulators and inverters and all that kind of stuff. So it has batteries underneath, under that black thing is a solar battery. So a proper, you know, pretty heavy duty, costly kind of solar setup. Obviously will power tanks like a couple of pumps, um, aerators and all that kind of stuff. Obviously, you know, that's its job and it'll hold power with the, the right kind of battery, you know, overnight and do its job. So it's, you know, kind of expensive, but um, I recently just got a pretty cheap thing, you know, under two hundred dollars, twenty watt solar panel, uh, twenty watt pump, and solar panel up there. This one's just been made so it can, you know, be changed depending on the sun aspect, as we've got big trees and things in our way. And uh, as you can see, at the moment it's not on, so I'll give it a flick on the switch. Get it going. So little box, uh, pretty simple. Kind of thing. It um, has a timer, which is 15 minutes on, 15 minutes off. It has a, a flow rate, so you can change the flow rate from about 300 litres an hour to 1500 litres an hour. Your standard on off and connections. So, pretty simple little backup battery. It's uh, as you can see with my hand, it's only small, it's nothing like the big solar batteries. Ugh, if I get up, you can see the flow rate. From there and over there it's, it's pretty good for a 20 watt pump uh, that's running off solar with only a little battery uh, you know that it's not even in full sun at the moment and it doesn't have a problem you know pumping 1500 liters an hour which for a little system like this this is only you know, two little grow beds falling into a sump it's um, surprisingly good and for 200 bucks you know, it was worth a gamble um, as this one I don't really want to have on mains power uh, I'll also have a system for solar powering the aerators for it um, but yeah I just well, I like to keep off the power if I can so they can be moved and put anywhere we've got the visitors bungalow here but I don't really want to drill holes and drag power out so with all the messing around with that uh, 200 bucks for a little solar setup that actually works it's uh, I could leave this thing on full like it's off the timer now so it'll just run continuously till the sun goes down the battery probably then lasts about half an hour but if I put it on timer it does 15 minutes on 15 minutes off and uh, most when I check even at night it, it's still kind of got some power there and still doing its thing um, you know which is quite amazing we've got uh, let's see a little aerator solar aerators lying around the, lying, lying the joint um, pretty pissy not exactly good this system was unimpressive because it, it's cycling and the few plants that are in there have been stripped out of another garden so uh, you know they're pretty much dead there's uh, you can see all the strippings and you know green bin full of snow peas and tomato plants and whatever else uh, I had to do a bit of reorganization this week so you see there's a some sort of soil garden bed over there so I won't even go near that in case I catch some sort of disease and that's what the missus does got the old uh, pyramid of life I haven't put back together yet so this um, pyramid it was pretty useless for most stuff but strawberries just loved it so that pyramid you go back over and sit over one of those grow beds it's the same size so I can just plonk it over the top so I'll probably put my strawberries back because uh, the kids love them so yeah it's uh, just a quick video on the thing running on solar cheap solar um, obviously you know I don't know what that's worth. The, the solar on the other system over there is, you know, hundreds of dollars for the panels and batteries are three or four hundred dollars and inverters and all that kind of stuff. You know, a bit, bit more to it, uh, and obviously more powerful. But yeah, I think this one's called Shogun or something like that. It's just off eBay. Um, reasonably impressive. It's uh, it's doing a better job than I thought it would. I thought it'd be just pretty crappy. They lifespan of twenty thousand hours or something like that. Um, you know. It's pretty cheap Chinese kind of crap, but you know, even if it fails, if the pump fails, 
I'll still have the battery and the, and the panel and everything so I can just turn it into an aerator solar you know system for one of the tanks or whatever so yeah I just thought I'd have a quick update on uh, the little solar system and you beauty works.